The Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, is designed to constantly monitor your tire pressure to detect underinflated tires and to avoid hazards associated with underinflated tires. The hazards can include accidents, poor handling, subpar fuel economy, and reduced tire life. However, the Tire Pressure Monitoring System is not designed as a substitute for proper tire maintenance. There will be two conditions that will prompt messages to be displayed to the driver. The first message occurs in the case of underinflated tires, and the second occurs in the case of a system malfunction. When underinflation is detected, it will be indicated through the TPMS symbol in the instrument cluster. The TPMS symbol will come on solid and stay solid when one or more tires are significantly underinflated. The TPMS symbol will also appear at the top of the Driver Information System, or DIS. An additional text message will appear in the DIS instructing you to check the tire pressure. After a few seconds, the text message in the DIS will disappear it can be recalled by pressing the Set or Check button in the instrument panel. Even though the text message will disappear, the telltales at the top of the DIS and in the instrument cluster will stay visible. This sequence will repeat each ignition cycle until the underlying problem is fixed and the TPMS is reset. If you should get a low tire pressure warning, stop as soon as possible without endangering yourself or others and inspect all four tires. First, make sure you don't have a flat tire. Then check the tire pressure of all four tires with a quality tire pressure gauge. When checking tire pressures, compare the measured tire pressures with the recommended pressures for the tires installed on your vehicle. You can find a placard listing the recommended pressures on the driver's side B pillar or door jam. You can also refer to the owner's manual for the recommended pressures. When adjusting the tire pressure, preferably do so when the tires are cold. Specifically, cold means that the car has not been driven for at least three hours or not more than two miles. After the pressures of all four tires have been checked and adjusted, the TPMS must be reset. This is critical to the correct function of the TPMS. The warning lights will only be canceled once the TPMS is reset. Refer to your owner's manual for reset procedures specific to your vehicle. Remember, even if just one tire experiences a problem, all four tires should be checked and adjusted before resetting the TPMS. If the tire pressure monitoring system detects a malfunction, the TPMS telltale in the instrument cluster will flash for about one minute and then remain solid for the remainder of the ignition cycle. Additionally, TPMS will show at the top of the DIS and will be accompanied by the text message, Tire Pressure System Malfunction. A TPMS malfunction can result from several different scenarios. In some cases, you may be able to fix the malfunction yourself. For a detailed list of malfunction reasons and ways to fix some of the malfunctions, please refer to your owner's manual. And, of course, if the malfunction persists, see your authorized Audi dealer. Your safety is always our primary concern, so please check your tire pressures and, as always, please drive safely.